was Charles Wesley and his very last hymn he wrote age 81 on his deathbed it says this in age and feebleness extreme who shall a helpless worm redeem Jesus my only hope thou art strength of my failing flesh and heart oh could I catch one smile from thee and drop into eternity does anyone feel that unshakable hope and love for Jesus Christ in this place tonight Yes, on that day when my strength is faint, the end draws me and my time has come. Oh, Jesus, still my soul, sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then forever more. Oh, it's gonna be forever.
exemplary life that you lived out at the school. Uh, Pundra sir was my biology teacher and uh, Mary ma'am my history teacher. They really helped us to come up in life, uh, develop all our skills spiritually and uh, physically and every every way they nurtured us. Uh, it's amazing and uh, we just uh, cannot forget SV it is inseparable like so God bless them even as they move out even as uh, we bid farewell to them uh, God bless them in their retired life and that God will use them mightily to reach out to many others God bless you hello everyone this is Parshil here one of the 12 from the first batch Everything about my holistic development has a root in the school. I owe a lot to the school. I remember Sir for his kindness, bright face and blooming smile and the strength that ma'am has is from her quietness and confidence. Some beautiful traits that I think I need to possess in life. I wish ma'am and Sir beautiful, memorable and God filled retired life and I pray that God's goodness and blessings follow them all their lives. Thank you everyone. God bless you all. Thank you so much Pondra uh, sir and uh, Mary madam for uh, serving uh, the SV community. 40 years uh, working as the principal and the HM, your contribution has been immense. It's not an easy job and I would like to congratulate you and thank you for all that you have done for us. Can't forget the biology classes, can't forget the history classes and if we are blessed it's because of your contribution, because of your prayer and because of your support that where we are today. God bless you and I wish you all the best in life. Thank you. Dear sir and madam, this is Stephen Haggai from the batch of 1997. I want to thank you both for the many acts of kindness that you showed both to me and my family. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam, for guiding us and initiating the move towards the right direction in life. Thank you. Hello, Pundra, sir and Mary, madam. I thank the Lord for you and I thank you also for you were a great blessing to me and to my children. SV was a second home for me and uh, in SV, I got my salvation and in SV, I received a call for my ministry. Uh, in SV, we were guided academically very well and uh, we had good food and uh, we had uh, uh, good spiritual food also. Uh, thank you one and all uh, for being a very good guide in our life. Thank you so much. Dear Ponrad sir and Mary ma'am, thank you for everything that you have done for us. We wish you a very happy second innings. Hi, this is Barnabas from 1993 Batch. I would like to take this moment to say my sincere thanks to Mary madam and Pondra sir for all that you have done for us during our childhood days. You have been like a parent to each one of us and we really remember and appreciate all that you have done for us uh, during our childhood days. We pray that God would bless you for all your efforts and even in your future endeavors that God will make you a blessing to many. We couldn't be there today, but we know that uh, God is going to be with, there with all of you and you will be in our hearts always. Take care. God bless. This is Sandeep L. Paul from the 1992 batch. I joined SV in the year 1983 and I only knew Joshua Umbren and Daniel Daniel Dave does them. The next person that I knew was Mary Ma'am. I was a mischievous guy, 
But then whenever I was hurt, I would run to her and she would take me in her arms, in her bosom, like a mother does to a child and she would treat my wounds. I'm so grateful to her. I never, I can hardly imagine that I was away from home. I felt at home because Mary Ma'am was a mother to me. On the other hand, Pondra sir, oh, I remember his spankings. Those spankings, oh really, I don't know how much of, how many of you have received that spanking, but I have received a lot. And I still remember those spankings, but those spankings made me who I am. And I'm grateful to them. My prayer for them is, that God continue to bless them and keep them and grow them. God bless. Thank you, Mary Ma'am. And thank you, Pondra sir. God bless you. Thank you all the Almanai. God be with you all. Bye. Hello, Mary Ma'am and Pundra sir. I'm reminded of what Amy Carmichael wrote. All along, let us remember that we were not called to understand, but to simply obey. More than four decades of obedient ministerial service at Santosh Vidyalaya. What an amazing time. And we are so blessed as the first batch um, to be served by you uh, as you embark on your retired life. May God bless you both and have a fantastic life ahead. Let me also tell you that you're most welcome to come to our home in Mumbai. Shim Matthew from the first batch. Thank you. Hi, I would like to thank the S3 community at large for the honor given to my parents for their service in SV. We as a family are really grateful for this big honor given to them. Looking back at my parents' life, I would like to say that uh, for the 43 years they have been here, every year they face new challenges. New challenges, though, you know, it looks like without every year the challenges were so different that they have to learn that without God's help they could not. And they have taught us that anything, any situation in life, first thing we must do is resort to God for any help. Resort to Him. He is the only one who could guide us. The second thing is they loved the students as their own. And my sister, when she was a small child, she had got a wheezing trouble. And my mother still says that that was an eye opener and every time she, she she sees a child with wheezing, she would was able to identify it easily and help them. Similarly, in many small instances, I, even I remember uh, my mother telling us that when they used to go through the classes, when any boys were very short, she used to pray that they grow tall. So she loved the children, both my father and mother loved the children as their own. Even um, in some instances, I remember when the students really studied well in their classes, they really aspired that they would somehow clear the entrance exams and somehow enter into medicine and got them so many books also. So that was the love they had for their children. They loved them as their own. And um, third thing is they never told uh, as children when we were in school, they never told bad about any teachers to us or they never discussed what happened in school to us. So many instances were brought to us from our classmates, we used to go and ask our parents. So that was the thing and they never, uh, they, uh, never uh, discussed such things so that we won't feel uh, hatred towards anyone. The same thing, they also, as a, as, a, as a human being, they might have made mistakes, they might have uh, hurt someone, but the true intention would have always been for the welfare of the kid, or for the betterment of the school at large because uh, we hear stories some of them saying good some of them saying bad but they would have really as after knowing our parents for these years they would never have mentioned to hurt anybody in any way so their only intention is was because of love for them they would have hurt them in any way so we take this time to thank the alumina for and the sv community at large for all the support for all the help rendered to my parents and without all your help, this community would not have grown so much. So God has used them and we really thank God for giving them to us and giving them to all of us at large to serve the community. Their life, their simple life and their life, they never wanted any honor and they always, every any instance, any happy or any low instance, they always say, this too will pass away. 
only the thing which remain is god who will be with us throughout so thank you once again bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul we shall hear him Oh